So we are on with the famous Alex Ferrari of Indie Film Hustle. Alex, great to see you, man. Yeah, pleasure to see you too, my friend. Thank you. We are really blessed to have Alex and Indie Film Hustle sponsoring the uh, world's only 92nd smartphone movie festival, Waffle. And that's because Alex really is in the the lineage, if you would, of the great indie filmmakers such as Roger Corman and uh, other guys have really championed that extraordinary art form. So we're going to dip into his wisdom a little bit and ask him three questions uh, that are going to be relevant for any waffle filmmakers. Are you ready? I am ready, sir. Fire okay, away. Question number one. Why is Indie Film Hustle supporting the world's only smartphone 90 second movie festival? Well, I think uh, the main reason is I, I think that the f- iPhone or the mobile phone or smartphone um, technology is the gateway into the cinematic process for so, so, so many people out there because the majority of humanity has access to one of these pieces of technology. And all you need to do now is basically point and shoot and tell a story. And I think that's extremely exciting. And I'm hoping that uh, the the Waffle 90 Second a contest will open the eyes of some people who've always wanted to get into the game, but never thought that they could because it's too expensive or I couldn't do that. So when I saw this come up, I thought it would be a great thing to promote and hopefully help some people around the world. Awesome. And we love that. Here's the next question. What is the essence of filmmaking that can be equally captured on a big production and a waffle movie? Story. It's all about story. I don't care if you're shooting on an iPhone or if you're shooting on um, an Alexa, if the story sucks, no one cares. But if the story is really good, no one cares what you shot it on either. So it gives a very even playing field to everybody involved. The quality coming out of these phones now is amazing. I mean, you know, Oscar winning directors are shooting features like Steven Soderbergh are shooting features on iPhones and he's doing it purposefully, not ironically, but purposely because he feels that this is a really a freeing way to tell a story. So uh, that I think is the biggest thing that you could do in a big budget or a small waffle production. Absolutely. Totally agree. Now, you know, there are a lot of filmmakers right now that are pacing back and forth, having heard about Waffle and going, I don't know what to make it on. I, I, how do I approach this? What is your one advice you would have to those wanting to make a Waffle movie? Start doing some testing, start shooting some stuff, seeing how it plays out, go through the process. Um, try to do the best you can with audio because the visuals are really good uh, on these phones, but you have to make sure audio is, is good too. So if you're in the middle of a, a crowded place, no one could hear what's going on. No one's going to watch your movie. Sure. So make- the biggest piece of advice is make sure that sound is as clean and crisp as possible because the image will take care of itself for the most part. And there you have it, man. The future is smartphones. It's about the story and uh, uh, make sure you get good sound. Three pieces of advice. That are uh, uh, from the the mouths of uh, one of the uh, wise men of indie filmmaking in Hollywood. Thanks a lot, Alex. Really appreciate your support, man. And we'll see you on Waffle Day. Absolutely. Thank you so much, my friend. Good luck, guys.